Imprisoned on various occasions and subjected to interrogations, Jaime Galarza Zavala is one of the estimated 120 direct victims of the CIA in Ecuador. Persecuted by the CIA for his political organizing, Galarza is a critic of U.S. foreign policy in the region and has spoken out about his personal experience. Usted fue uno de los guerrilleros de la República Dominicana, república que yo hasta ahora no conozco. Pero me acusaban de ser uno de los dirigentes. They told me that I was working as a guerrilla in the Dominican Republic. I, to this day, have never visited the Dominican Republic, but they accused me of being a guerrilla leader in the Dominican Republic, and this was a common theme with various interrogations. So while they interrogated me, there was someone that called every now and then that called from another room. After, they told me that this person they were talking with was a gringo, a North American, who never presented himself to me, but he gave them instructions as to how to continue the interrogation. Galarza, who interviewed Philip Ashey in 1975, published the book titled The CIA Against Latin America, Special Case of Ecuador, with Francisco Herrera Arauz, who also interviewed the ex-CIA operations officer on the institution's activities. Ashey's name became internationally known when he wrote the book Inside the Company, CIA Diary, in 1975, which details his time working in Ecuador, Uruguay, and Mexico from 1960 to 1968 and announced his actions undertaken by the CIA during this period. First, they destroyed our democracy. Second, they worked with undivided attention against our citizens. They persecuted our citizens for thinking differently. These are deaths, injured. There are victims of this violence. There are families that were harmed. There are exiles. The honor of some people has been ruined. And all of this was caused by the CIA's actions. As you said that when he operated in Ecuador from 1960 to 1963, the CIA oversaw the overthrow of two presidents, the infiltration of various political parties and organizations, and the planting of bombs in front of churches and other emblematic sites to frame leftist groups, among other actions. These secret policies continue in Latin America today. Nothing that Philip Agee denounced as CIA actions in the past have been discarded by the espionage we see today. There were an estimated 200 Ecuadorians on CIA payroll during the years Agi operated within the country. Ecuador's foreign ministry has printed and widely distributed copies of the book published by Galarza and Herrera to raise public awareness of the atrocities committed within Ecuador and the long-term damage caused by CIA interventions throughout Latin America. Liz Sherpius, Delisord, Ecuador.